Watch it, TFR Wilderness here, bringing to you another KTRT review. Yes, uh, <coughs> did my usual thing of uh, ordering a couple of KTRT bots at the beginning of the month. And uh, if you saw in my one of my previous reviews from last month, um, I got that the yellow excavator thing, um, Tobot Athlon Rocky from one of the Season 2 characters. And uh, as I hadn't got any of the season two characters previously, I've decided, you know, I'm just going to I'm just going to get the, all three of them now. So I uh, ordered the other two at the beginning of this month. And the first one to arrive from my mate, Mr. Soon, my main plastic crack dealer on eBay over in Korea. Is this guy. This is Tobot Athlon Vulcan. Now, as you can see, he's a big red fire engine uh, not dissimilar to um, Sentinel Prime from Dark of the Moon because he's like a, a, an airport or an aircraft so style you know fire tender that you see at airports big chunky you know uh, fire engine uh, just do a quick ring round uh, as you can see he's a uh, nice and shiny he's got uh, blacked out glass he's got transparent Lenses for the uh, warning lights. He's got transparent lenses in the front, and he's got sort of stickers on the back for the rear lights. Now I have actually put the stickers on this guy. Um, obviously, all Tobot Athlon figures come with stickers, but uh, the, 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 some of the previous ones they only gave you the st enough stickers to sticker one side of the vehicle, and they didn't give you uh, enough stickers to do matching, you know, sticker arrangement on the opposite side. So I didn't all didn't usually put the decals on i did it to uh tobot uh beta tobot athlon beta the first tobot athlon figure i got um didn't do it to alpha um haven't done it to metron haven't done it to zango and i haven't done it to um ambulon so this is only the second tobot athlon figure i've actually put the decals on the reason being is because you know you get all these sort of sponsor decals that you put on the side because this is just a plain red panel when you get it and you do get a matching set of decals so you can put the same sort of stickers on opposite sides which is good apart from this one obviously this one here um so yeah he's a big a big fire engine um he's got very large pinned wheels he rolls very well even though you couldn't see that he also has um uh, a snorkel crane on the top which goes all the way around it goes forwards oh, goes forwards and back that bends 180 degrees and then you've got this this bit on the end which goes up and down so there's that now let's have a quick look at the uh, the box just hold it on a moment Yeah, so here's the box, uh, fairly typical um, Tobot Athlon box, big window, uh, sort of a blister, plastic blister that the character goes in, held in by uh, wire ties. Uh, they have this uh, this silver reflective uh, cardboard at the back. It's got the uh, Korean hangul for his name, Tobot Athlon Vulcan, name in English. And then you've got pictures of the uh, vehicle mode there. Go around to the side, picture of the robot mode. Go on to the back. Again, big pictures, CGI renders of the character from the show, uh, showing off some of the features. And then got some more artwork on the side. And then a bit on the top, and then just the usual rubbish underneath. So that's the box. But one thing, obviously... The pictures of the character on the box are the CGI artwork, and if you look closely, you can see the bull bars on the front there are silver, and if you look on the toy, they're black. So that's one thing. Another thing I've noticed: uh, you look on the side of the vehicle, it's got uh, then like chevron things. Now, when you get the stickers, you put two chevron strips on the back. But there are none to go on the side, which again, I think they missed out there. They should have put some extra decals on to the chevron side, you know, chevron stickers on the side. Also, there's a few 
uh, paint details, some little lights that are picked out in the top as well. Uh, also, the design of the door is different. Um, on the uh, on the CGI model, it comes back to here, but on the, this model, it's there. The door lines all different. Um, but then again, these are just minor quibbles. Um, they could have made it a bit more, you know, CGI accurate, but they took a few liberties with the design, as they do with all the Tobot Athlon figures. That's just me being, you know, sort of hypercritical. But anyway, it's still a very good, solid, heavy. It pegs together extremely well. The wheels rattle a little bit, but apart from that, it's very heavy. It's got that usual high quality um, plastic that the Koreans use. It's sort of nice and uh, shiny and uh, scratch resistant and very, very tough and strong. And uh, Tobots, as we all know, well, if, if you've handled Tobots, you know they're, they're big, they're chunky, they're built like brick shit houses, and they're designed to be played with, with by younger kids. I mean, what's the age range on these? Uh, now, anybody from uh, the age of four and up <laughs> is okay to play with these. Nobody below the age of three, so that's pretty young. Anyway, so enough said about the vehicle mode. It's a pretty cool looking airport tender style fire engine. So it's getting to transformation. This guy's got quite a simple transformation, but it's, it's fun and intuitive like they are on most Tobots. First of all, remove the water cannon. And then it starts by hinging these panels out. So you unclip them from the side and fold them around. And then you can split these panels out until they, they sort of click into the side. Right, then take the legs and pull them down, straighten them out, split them and then turn the waist around 180 degrees. Now for the, the arms, you take the top of the cab, unclip it, fold it back and it sort of clips into place on the backpack. Then you split the arms, pull them to the side. You rotate, straighten the arms out, rotate them round two clicks, and then fold them down. And then finally, take this piece, it's on a, on a double end hinge, and you fold it down and clip it into place and to make it to form his chest plate and there we go there is Vulcan in his robot mode and big beefy you know he's, he's a really cool looking bot oh, I've got, hang on I've got the arms around the wrong way that's better there we go turn the arms around the right way and there he is and uh it's pretty cool. It's got a bit of a backpack here, but it's it, it's hollow and it sort of pegs into place. He's got these kibble wings which clip into place, which are which are okay. Apart from that, he's he's relatively clean. Um, he's a pretty cool looking bot. Let's uh, have a close up look at his head. Now, mine's been modified. <laughs> I've modified mine. Not long had I got him out of the box yesterday. Um, there was something about it. I was a bit, you know, um, you know, I don't. Uh, there was something I wasn't very happy about, and it's his head sculpt. Now you can probably see here his head sculpt seems to be, you know, sort of sunken down into his shoulders. And trust me, when I first got this thing, it was even worse than that. It was down at least another sort of half, no, half a centimeter or so. So what I did was I took this thing apart, you have to take the waist off and then there's a load of screws in the back and you separate the body and there's some spring loaded bits which go boing and spring out and you have to put them back. And uh, I took the head off and the head is screwed down onto a plate which rotates backwards and forwards as part of the um, the gimmick for the uh, the mind core, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but it's, it's pegged into place. So what I've done is I've put a longer screw in, I've extended past the, the, the pegs that peg in, put a, a washer and a rubber grommet in there, and now my Tobot has got a head that rotates. Now, 
that makes him unique because no other Tobol Afron, no, well, the majority of the Tobol Afron figures, I mean, Rocky had a rotating head, but then again, his, the head didn't, wasn't worked in with the, the Minecore gimmick. Most of them, the head is part of the Minecore gimmick, and as such, it is locked solid in, in the static forward position. Also, mine has uh, been raised up slightly, so he's not, you know, before he was, he was kind of you know, looking down like that. But, uh, yeah. So mine's modified. <laughs> so if you're a Korean, you know, Korean person watching this, I bet yours can't do this. <laughs> yeah, so I have uh, modified him slightly. Anyway, that being said, uh, mine core gimmick. He's a Tobot Athlon figure. So he has this little, his brain is inside this little car thing which drives around and then in the transformation, it's a little flap opens up and he pops inside and activates the robot and so, so. So, yeah, it springs out. So there's his uh, his little mind car. As you can see, it's like a little like a little shoe with wheels, and there's a little transparent bubble in the top into which a sort of like a, a glowing ball goes, which is the brain of the towbot. And then as this little chute which comes out of his belly, you put the thing in, shut it up, and then his head pops back up, and then you just and as you can see, it flies out. But that's the mine core gimmick. They've all got it. All Tobot Affluent figures have got the, uh, I've got the uh, the mine core gimmick. It's just one of the gimmicks of the line. So let's get on to articulation. Now, obviously, mine has got a head rotation, but it is uh, unique and has been modified by myself. So no other Vulcans have have got that as standard. Uh, the head. Does rock back and forth, but again, it's you know, it's part of the release mechanism for the uh, the uh, the mine core gimmick. Shoulders go all the way around. They only go up one click. Now, if you look on top, you can see they're stopped by this this bit of plastic here. And I reckon if you again another mod you could do, if you cut out a, a clearance notch in that piece of plastic there, you could probably get those shoulders to go up another couple of clicks and get his shoulders to go out like that. But, you know, that's something to look at in the future. Um, so they do that. Um, it does have a butterfly joint as part of the transformation, so his shoulders do sort of angle forwards, which is quite useful. Um, now, this guy, again, part of the transformation, has got bicep swivels. And they're quite tight, and they're, only, they're very coarse. So there you go. So he's got... He's got bicep swivels, which is rare on a tow bot. Um, well, it's rare on KTRT bots in general. It, I mean, um, uh, hello, car bot figures tend to have thigh swivels, but not bicep swivels. But anyway, so he's got that. He's got elbows that go to 90 degrees. The fists are fixed, but he has got a slot in the fists to accept his, his uh, accessory. The gun has a little peg that uh, flips out. And then the gun slots in. It's very tight. Oh, but you know he can have his gun like that. So he can have his gun, but let's take it back out again, very carefully, because not going to break it. Oh, that's tight. So yeah, he's got elbows. Now, this guy has got a waist joint. As you can see, again, that's part of the transformation, but totally works. Hips. Not quite the full Van Damme, but uh, you know, a beautiful spread, as uh, Jobby the Hong would say. Uh, backwards, forwards, no uh, five swivels. Single jointed knees that go back to 90 degrees on a very loud ratchet. And it's just nothing on the feet. They're just fixed feet, but they are cut at an angle to give you a neutral A stance. And the ratchet on his legs does give him, they're reasonably fine, the ratchets, and it gives him a very good A stance. So yeah, Tobot Afro Rocky, he's, he's pretty cool. Another Tobot fire engine because I got Tobot uh, R from the original Tobot line and he really is butch and chunky and uh, 
you know, his chunk works against him and restricts a lot of his articulation. But uh, this guy is, uh, has got a lot more going on in that respect. He's bright, he's colourful. Probably missing a few paint apps compared to the CGI model, but uh, that's neither here nor there, really. Um, it, he's, he's heavy, he's tough, he's got, you know, he's got uh, plenty of uh, ratitude going on. And uh, he's a pretty cool little figure. And uh, he's now the second bot I've got from Tobot Athlon Season 2. And uh, just before I sign off, let's do a quick size comparison. There he is next to Combiner Wars Megs, Reader Megs. As you can see, he's just slightly bigger. So he's a he's a big, big old boy. So yeah, that's my review on Tobot Athlon Vulcan. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> yeah, mine's slightly modified. Uh, cool figure, glad I got him. Um, have got... Well, <laughs> I did order Tornado, which is the other the other remaining bot from the Tobot Athlon Season Two lineup. I did order him, but uh, something went awry with the order. But I will go into that in more detail as and when the uh, the replacement arrives. Uh, yeah, or end of month bot or whichever comes first. So yeah, so yeah, got him. He's pretty cool, and uh, that's been my review of that guy. I've been TFR Wilderness. I hope you've enjoyed my little review here. I will catch you all next time. Ta-da.